All right, as you can see, we're in Tennessee. Um, lodge business first. If you don't know, on Thursday morning, the Illinois Labor Board affirmed the AL judge's ruling on the COVID thing, basically saying that the policy for the city of Chicago was improper. Um, do we expect the city to take it to court? More than likely, she did it with Ask Me and Coop, so I don't think we're gonna be any different when it comes to this. Um, if it doesn't get appeal appealed in court, we'll certainly let you know, but uh, it's time for the mayor to do the right thing. Call it a day on the COVID policy, give everybody their back pay with their interest, and move on from that. Um, budget shortfall or not. This is money owed to these officers for three years counting now. Uh, one last piece of lodge business. Uh, retirees, there will be ballots in the mail, obviously, uh, to vote electronically for pension trustee. The board of directors has supported Tom Lonigan for that spot going forward to replace Mike Lappy. Uh, it was really a no-brainer. The simple reality is Tom has been giving up his own time for almost two decades going to pension meetings and kind of addressing and keeping an eye on what's been going on at the pension fund as not an elected member, but just because he believes in making sure that that pension fund is solvent going forward. Um, I will just tell you this, the opponent is somebody who literally took my disability claim from 2014 and literally posted it online during the election for FOP last year to try and get me unelected. My whole filing was put out there for the world to see. That's not somebody that I think our members should trust or deserve as representing them. It's a pretty selfish maneuver. That's your choices going forward in the pension slot for retiree Tom Lonigan or his opposition. Make sure you vote. We have to have a voice and we have to make sure that that pension fund is ran properly. Now on to where we're at, Irwin, Tennessee. So along with the Illinois FOP, we came out here with our food trailer to try and help out and do whatever we can for the people affected by this disaster. We got a little tour and behind me, you see the main debris pile along uh, Interstate 26. That's not even scratching the surface, to be quite honest with you. If you go a little further on down the road and the overflow of this river and the damage and destruction that it has done. Um, and this community is gonna take a long time to recover. So we're grateful that they let us come here and try and help them. Uh, obviously cooking a couple meals, trying to help the search and rescue with some new equipment and upgrades. And uh, three of their officers, two of the county officers and one of the city of Irwin officers lost their complete house in this flood, wiped them out, uh, along with the state troopers. And I want to give President Moon a shout out. Uh, President Joe Moon from the Troopers Lodge matched the money that we kind of allotted for this trip. And uh, it's going to go to give these three officers a little money and give them a head start on rebuilding their lives going forward. Because like I said, they all got families and they have nothing uh, as of two weeks ago. They're still looking for one more victim of this flood. Hopefully they find her and give her some family some peace. But um, if you want to help out, you can certainly send any donations to the Chicago FOP. We will pass them on to the powers that be here once we leave in a couple days. With that being said, have a good weekend. Thank you.